guys it's joe and today i went to disney animal kingdom with my husband and we've been wanting to go because my daughter works at disney she's about to quit so we're trying to take advantage of getting in for free as much as we can we went today because we've been wanting to go to pandora which is a new attraction that opened up mm, i think last year if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure if it's been a full year but I'm a big fan of the movie and it was really exciting, beautiful. The weather was perfect, not too hot, not at all cold because we're in Florida, but it just wasn't too hot and it was like a nice breeze. And we thought it was gonna rain for a while, but it didn't. We got a few drops, but it stopped and it was just a perfect day. So we really just, we didn't really get in a lot of rides. We just got on the Pandora ride and then we went to the Lion King show and that's about it. We didn't feel like waiting in line for any rides. I, I was kind of nervous I, I told myself this year I'm gonna push myself a little bit to just get back to me get back to the person I was before this whole anxiety thing happened to me about three years ago that completely shut me down and just broke me out of my comfort zone broke me out of my crazy Joe the one that is always game to do whatever and I just kind of shelter myself I haven't lived in fear not not fear of life because I don't live that kind of fear but just fear of getting an anxiety attack or a panic attack out in public and ruining everybody's fun and just you know it just it's happened I've had anxiety attacks but I've had crazy panic attacks where the ambulance has to come because it's just crazy and out of control and I pass out I told myself this year you're gonna do it Joe you're going to do it mind over matter Joe just do it what's the worst that can happen so you get a panic attack you're not dying you're not gonna die whatever I wanted to get on this Pandora ride I heard it was amazing and we're walking around the whole time I was just kind of nervous but at the same time enjoying the scenery it was just I don't know what it was today it was just a beautiful day I've been there many times but I just kind of saw the park differently this time maybe it's because it was a lot of new stuff that was open but it just felt like I don't know you're out in nature it is animal kingdom so there's a lot of trees a lot of, a lot of beautiful birds it just it was just beautiful. We get to the area where the Pandora world is and it's just freaking gorgeous. You, I recorded pretty much like everything outside, everything inside of the ride, I just except for the ride because uh, I took my camera planning to record. When I went to record when I was there, I didn't put my freaking memory card in my camera. So I had to record with my phone. I was fine up until it was time to get in line for the ride because I'm also very claustrophobic guys and that's always been that's that's always been before anxiety I've always was just I don't like small spaces I don't really care for the dark so we get in line okay like even think about it I'm getting like we get in line for the Pandora ride I hope I'm saying it right and my heart starts beating I start getting dizzy I start getting the tingly feeling on my skin and my tongue and I start feeling like I can't breathe it was supposed to be an hour and a half the wait time we ended up waiting two freaking hour guys Our alarm set on my phone to remind me to take my anxiety pill which is another thing I didn't take any of my pills before I left I totally forgot because the doctor put me on a new pill and I had to be on a full stomach before I take it and I don't always eat when I should eat so I didn't take it and I forgot so I go to this ride I go to the park with no medication in me no nothing guys <laughs> we get into the line I see all these people and I start freaking out that's where I left off right yeah okay it was a little humid in there and I start feeling like oh my god I can't breathe we were going into like areas that seem like little tunnels and then it got a little dark and just the whole time in line I was just like oh my gosh I will, how much longer how much longer but I just kept saying you got to do this Joe mind over matter mind over matter <laughs> and, and everything was pretty so I just kind of like was recording things to kind of try to get my mind off of things my only problem is that my husband doesn't like me recording when we're out he, he gets embarrassed if I'm talking to the camera he, and I see I don't care I don't care who's around I don't care what people think whatever that I don't know so and so I don't know Bobby Sue or Jill whatever you know Juana I don't know you so why should I care what you think you want to think I'm crazy think I'm crazy how's that gonna affect me but you know whatever so he doesn't like it I recorded a couple things and you'll see like on the down low when he was kind of like in another area or whatever in the bathroom <laughs> of me talking to you guys I was recording to kind of take my mind off of things 
but it was real pretty. The line was real pretty. The stuff that we saw in, you know, the whole ride and waiting, it was just really nice. Oh God, after two hours, they put us with another group of people, because I think it's up to like 16 people that go in the room and then they shut the door on you and now you're in a little small little room. I start to, oh my God, this is happening, this is real, this is going on before we're in line, and I'm just like, woohoo, this is pretty. But now the door's closed, there's 16 of us in here, and <sighs> so I start like freaking out. I'm still recording, still trying to distract myself, so like, you got this girl, you can do this girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they open the doors, it's time to get in, and as soon as I saw the room where we were gonna go in, um, <sighs> I started to freak because the lady said, and I hate when they say this, I know they have to say this as a warning, but why do you gotta wait till you're like about to get in the ride and now you're gonna tell me this and like now, you know, I've been trying to psych myself out the whole time and now you're gonna mess up my, my game, you know, how I've been trying to psych myself out. The lady, she put us, she put us in another separate little room and now we're in this room and the ride when you get on, on is kind of like a bike and on top of that, once you sit down like this and you're holding on a handlebar, there's something in the back that kind of comes back and it closes up on you. So now I'm really stuck. And I hate the feeling of being stuck, okay? I am really stuck now. So I start to freak. After we're all in the ride, okay, I'm ready to go. She goes, if any of you guys are claustrophobic or uh, you get you get mo motion sickness or if you're pregnant, then th maybe this isn't the ride for you. Maybe you should get off now. Well, hello, the thing's just locked on us. The door's like, as soon as she said that, she walks out. So even if I wanted to get out, I'm locked in, she left. So now, <laughs> guys, I start going to panic mode, okay? I start like, oh my God, I don't think I could do this. I don't think I could do this, babe. I don't think I could do this. <laughs> and he's like, you got this, Joe, you got this. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't think so. I could do this. I could, I don't, and, and I could hear myself getting louder and louder. And that the girl next to me, she's like, you okay, sweetie? I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just freaking out. I'm freaking out. She goes, do you have anxiety? And I said, yes, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, have you done this ride before? She's like, yeah, I've done it many times. I love it. It's, it's amazing. And every time you do it, it's different. And I said, uh, am I going to freak out? And she goes, you'll be fine. My five-year-old, this is what kind of like, her little boy can do it, I can do it, you know? So she goes, my five-year-old was freaking out at first, but once the ride starts, it's so beautiful that you'll just be like in awe. So um, I'm like, okay, I'm going to trust you, girl. I'm going to trust you. I don't know her, but if you lie to me, you're going to get an uppercut when we get out of this ride because... Guys, I was really like freaking out. My hands were sweating and everything. And I feel like I'm freaking out now. I I, I do, just talking about it. <laughs> and I'm home, I'm safe, I'm good. But the ride starts. And as soon as it starts, it's a black screen and there's like flashing lights, kind of like Star Wars when they go into hyperspeed and all the stars come in, that happens, right? As soon as that happens, the back of it is pushing on your back and then on your thighs is pushing. So you're supposed to feel like you're on the Bergen, I think it's the name of the bird that is in the ride that you're flying. And so uh, I start to freak out for a second. I feel my heart like my breath, <gasps> but then some air starts blowing in and all of a sudden the screen changes and we're in Pandora. And it was so freaking beautiful guys. It was just beautiful. If you've seen the movie, you know it's full of beautiful neon bright colors and I wish we would have gone at night because I bet you it looks freaking amazing. You could already tell in the daytime that it was just so beautiful and breathtaking that I bet you it looks gorgeous at night with all the lights. So <laughs> you're flying and you're in this other world and what kind of helped me was that there was like a fan blowing in my face. So every time I start to freak out, breathe and that's where i go into panic mode i feel like i can't breathe so the air was blowing in me so i felt like i could breathe okay i think i can do this and the whole time i was freaking out i was having a hard time holding on to the the handrail because my hands were so sweaty we were flying and i just was in awe with okay it was all motion but you know how you go down the right goes down when you're flying around you move with it so you do feel like you're actually flying around in this ride. I was freaking out the whole time, but I just, I feel like I don't have no time to freak out. This is beautiful, breathtaking. I did it. The ride was finished and the girl was like, you're good, you're good. She kept checking up on me all the time and I'm like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm okay. And afterwards she's like, were you okay? Did you love it? I'm like, I loved it. My husband's like, all right, let's turn around and get back in line. She said, <laughs> it changes every time. I'm like, no, you're crazy. That was two freaking hours. But uh, all in all, I did it guys. I felt like 
Yeah, guys. What's up? What's up, everybody? Clap for you. When I walked out. Yeah, guys. I feel like telling everybody, I did it. Ain't nobody gonna clap for me. They don't know me. But I was just so happy and proud of myself, guys, because I did it. I was in panic mode, and I was able to push through and just continue to breathe and just push through it. Even though I felt the symptoms, I did not allow it to get really, really bad. And it was just too beautiful to go into panic mode. Just want to let you know that, guys. Before I leave, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you click on that subscription button. At the same time, click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping. And don't forget to drop a like. In the meanwhile, remember to be blessed, guys. Peace out.